Hi, my name is Olivia Ganyutz and I'm a professional actress working in the Toronto film and television industry. If you're new to the world of film and television, welcome, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. You know I got you. Come on, there's plenty of good tips in this playlist and more coming your way every single week. I do also post daily videos across my TikTok and Instagram accounts, so find me there at Olivia Ganyutz if you want to stay in touch. Do you want to find out what you should be doing when you're slating and what you should not be doing in film and TV auditions? In this video, I'll be showing you specific examples of how to slate and how not to slate. So what is a slate? A slate is what happens when you're brought into an audition room and it's the first thing that happens before you say your audition. You look directly into the lens, just like I'm doing now, not around while you're slating, and a slate usually includes your name, your height, your agency and your location. If you are a minor, you will add your age. And if you do not have an agency, you can skip that step or say self-represented. Doing a slate is your first impression on how to impress a casting director. You are coming in with your personality, not your character, and you're just showing up, being friendly, confident. Number one, what to do when you're slating is find the mark. The mark is a piece of tape on the floor that's either going to be an X or a T shaped. Put your feet on that mark because you are lit for success in that specific spot. Ground yourself, try not to sway too much. Tip number two, stand up straight, smile, and look straight down into the barrel. And how would it look if I did this? Hi, I'm Olivia, 5'3" self-represented from Toronto, Canada. I appear nervous, I'm not sure what to say. Focus, in and out, we're ready for our audition. We're showing up with confidence. You got this, come on, you got this. You can also practice on your phone. Put your phone on the timer, record yourself, see what you sound like. If something isn't sounding natural, you just do it. Send it to a friend or two, family members. See if it's showing up like you and your personality because that's gonna make a difference. Number three, if you brought a purse, boots, a notebook, your resume, headshot, you can either leave it in the casting holding room or as soon as I get in, I close the door, put it right by the door and get on the mark. Number four, speak in your regular voice. If your audition requires an accent, a British accent perhaps, I'm not going to come in and say, hello, I'm Olivia Gudanitz. I'm going to say, hi, I'm Olivia Gudanitz. They want to see you. Remember, the slate is you, not what you prepared. Obviously, if you have a very dramatic audition coming, you don't want to be like, hey, but just, just bring it up a touch and then take a breath and get into character before you start your audition. Great, awesome. Give me a thumbs up if that's making sense. And if it's not, you know what to do. Leave me a question in the comment box below. Olivia Gudani, it's 5'3". You know your body and your voice. If you feel like you're gonna be too timid on an audition, then you can project just a little bit. So if this was my regular speaking voice, I would just amp it up to, hey, this is now my regular speaking voice. It's still natural. Remember, we're not in theater. But if you feel like nerves will get the best of you, it's okay to amp it up just a little bit. Practice on your phone and on your camera and find, find the right volume for you. Number five, of course, clarity in your speech is important. Do not rush through it. Just find a calm, regular tone. I know it's easy to say right now when we're not in an audition room, but whatever you need to do to make sure that happens for you, do it. At this point, I feel like I can take a breath and get through it, but I know in the beginning, I just went through it really, really quickly, and I just said my name, my height, my agency location, and I'm ready to go. Again, that's gonna just demonstrate a bit of nerves. So practice, practice slating, you can do this. I believe in you. So let's talk about what not to do. Ah, you made it till the end, thank you so much. Definitely check out the description box for more information and if I missed anything feel free to reach out to me I will be sure to answer each and every one of you